Um, yeah, so I mean, if 10 people, that's all you need. That's that's a really good start, you know? Yeah. And, and tell them, you know, I'll be like, hey, if you get 10 people, and like I said, that's 100 people right there. Yeah, so 10 becomes mean? 100. That's right. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it could be 1,000. You never know. I mean, oh, my God. You just got to get out there and make it, make it happen. I would feel like a fucking CEO. Yeah, before you know it, man, those those checks are going to start showing up, you know? Just. Imagine an extra $500 income a month for doing nothing. You know, just $500. Boom. Yeah. Six grand a year. Yeah, for pretty much doing nothing, you know? For beating my meat. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, if you're ambitious, you could turn that into a thousand, maybe even more. Why, there's some people, they, they bring in 10000 a month. 10000 a month? Yeah, 10000 <gasps> What in the hell would you do with 10000 a month? I don't know. I you wouldn't know how to be... spend all that money. Oh, you could put in your kid's college fund, right? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> of, of course. Well, part of it, right? No, all of we it, gotta, God damn it. We got to have some fun, too. Nope, it's all for him. Deny, deny, deny myself. It's all for thee, I say. You know, a thousand for the kid, a thousand for the whores, a thousand for the for the <laughs> restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> all the kickbacks and payoff money to keep everybody quiet and hush hush about the shit. Keep them all in place. The whores. <laughs> Thousand dollar car payment. Yes, that's where all that money went. <laughs> but where's the car? Ah, oh, don't worry about it, eh? <laughs> I park it at work. Don't worry about it. You're driving a Pinto to the meeting. Uh, where's your uh, Where's your nice car? Or wait, you got a red Yugo. Uh, I fuck my <laughs> I fuck my nice car instead. Okay. I'm just being economical. Yeah. Save I, money. I get a nice car's worth of pussy every month instead. <laughs> <laughs> I'll live a lot longer that way. Yep, keeping the pipes clean. Totally. Gots to... Hey. It keeps the stress levels down. Yeah, man. Self-care, self-love, maintenance, whatever, however the hell you want to call it. Listen. All right, so Scamway, I love it. It's a great product. I believe in it a thousand percent. I think it's going to go far. But I think we should see what happens when you try to go and sell it door to door. So, hang on a second here. Well, I'm an expert when it comes to that. I know you are. I can smell it. And because you are the expert that you are, I anticipate... Yeah, not, not to toot my own horn, but I've been working at this for a very long time, and I've, I've mastered the, the art. Listen, I'm detecting all kinds of fucking horn tooting going on over here. Chill. <laughs> anyway, all right. I said, I said not to toot my own horn. Oh, Funny how when we say that, it's actually usually intending the opposite. It's one of those tricky phrases. It's like saying, oh yeah, so-and-so is a great guy, but he's kind of an asshole. I'm like, huh, okay. Well, then we... Then we gotta go with the latter instead of the former on that, I guess, when when you get those options like that. He's a real asshole, but he's kinda nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a total dick, but he can be pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. Don't die. Don't die. <laughs> See, now, now, there, now there's a quote from it for a shirt right there. Don't die. 
<laughs> Perfect. All right. Cool. Oh, my God. Oh. I, I came home, and there's a giant pan of lasagna, and I was like, man, I know if I eat this, it's going to make me sleepy. So you did so it anyway? Oh, yeah. I was like, I didn't, I tried not to eat too much. Huh? You're like, fuck it, this is happening? Yeah, with a piece of bread and some butter on the side. That's cool. Yeah. <coughs> I did some, we did some uh, stroganoff and garlic breadsticks. <coughs> yeah, I like stroke, stroking off myself. Hell yeah, we were just talking about cleaning the pipes, man, see? <laughs> Shit keeps circling back. Off. Oh yeah, slip slapping it, jip japping it. Did you put it over mashed potatoes? No, we didn't do the mashed potatoes this time. It was the lean, the lean version. Yeah, it's that it's that late spring that you know that spring kind of version, as opposed yeah, trying to lose a little weight. It's the springtime. Yeah, uh, the winter version. Oh motherfucking mashed potatoes, it up. Gravy on it, shit on the boot. Fuck it. Fucking big ass dollop of whip, uh, sour cream. Shrap! Yum. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. That's good. That yeah, sounds good. Alright, yeah, was straight. So, I did a rib sticker myself. That's cool. I found a chair today. I. It's been, a, it's been quite some time since I. You know, because obviously being in the trades, and specifically the trade that you and I are both in currently, you tend to come across a lot of stuff. You know, like stuff that people don't want anymore, or shit that gets left behind that nobody cares, and abandoned. Especially when all the foreclosure stuff was going on, man. It was always like abandoned shit in houses. It was fucking kind of sad, but kind of weird. Anyway, so, it's been a long time now, quite a while since I brought anything home like that. I got, I had a more, I had a moratorium put oh, on me. Could you, could you like, touch the piece of furniture and like, feel the, all the memories that went through it and the, the loss and the pain from the... Well, I can tell you that when I touched it, my pants, my pants got tighter. <laughs> <laughs> so I, you're like not, you're like now it's mine, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely mine now. <laughs> um, it's a knot hole. No. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> ee, <laughs> it's grain, that son of a bitch. Put my stank all over it immediately. Um. <laughs> yeah, my pants grew. My pants grew tight, and I'm like, oh, this chair is. Mine, you're coming home with me. You're coming home, motherfucker. Uh, no, anyway, it's a pretty cool little chair, though. It's got like kind of like scroll scroll work on the arms, and it's got one of those those backs. Come on, bastard! There, it's got one of those backs. See, it's got like kind of the wicker woven wicker mesh backing to it. It's got that pretty cool little scallop top, and the arms are have little carvings and shit, and the the uh, legs are like turned, lathed and shit. It's pretty cool. Wow, that's but, a fancy cushion on there. Yeah, yeah, that we might have to do something about that, but I don't know. We'll see. It's a little bright. Yeah, yeah, they were having some fun with it. Anyway, but yeah. Yeah, I saw I saw some shit the other day next to the dumpster. Yeah. And I thought for a minute I thought about it and I was like, I don't fucking need someone else's garbage, man. I was like there's like a an, a wooden step ladder which was like, well, step ladders are cool, but you know how those wooden, wooden ones are. Wooden like, ones blow. Yeah, they fucking are fucked up. Wooden ones bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, fuck that. 
<laughs> Those are dangerous. Yeah, no, no wooden ladders, brother. Shit. No wooden ladders. <laughs> Fuck that. No wooden ladders. I can't even remember what else there was, but I was kind of like, eh, and I was like, nah. Uh, that's the thing. I mean, there were a couple stools with this thing, and I'm like, I don't fucking know. Do I need this thing in my life? No. It had kind of a cool little style, though, too, and I was like, well, maybe if I popped a little fresh fabric over over that shit, you know, maybe make it a little more sightly and mellowed out. Although it's kind of cool that it has the weird bright birds yeah. or some shit. Interesting. Funky, yeah. But something cool on there would probably be nice and yeah, for the office. A little chair for somebody to sit in across the across the desk and ramble when you come up. When you when you come up and, and ramble in my office on this fucking I'll, thing. I'll sit in the magic chair. You can sit in the new magic chair, the birdie chair. Yeah, I'm working on my uh, table. I got a, a cross-cut section of a of a tree, like a 200-year-old yeah, oak tree. I remember you talking about that, yeah. Yeah, it's finally tr- pretty much all dried out and cured. Sweet. And Are you gonna... so I went and picked up an orbital sander and started sanding it down. What kind of sander did you get? It's like, uh, I didn't get a cordless because they're kind of expensive they're they're but gay I, they're gay anyway yeah i got a ryobi um yeah i figured corded one that's I cool just plug it in variable and, speed yeah it's like 69 bucks i think you know dambles as opposed to what <coughs> cordless was like 140 or something and they're gay i was like hell no i ain't fucking paying double for it yeah, so you can be annoyed by having your fucking sander, sander take a slow shit on you over and over again? Yeah. Yeah. Right, God damn I mean, it. it's kind of convenient, you know, but at the same time. Lame. Corded. I need full power the whole time. Well, yeah, sanding's one of those things you can do for a long time, you know? Yeah, especially if your sander starts to slow down on you and don't fucking, you're not picking up on it right away. Like a oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> anyway, that's cool. Are you gonna are you so, yeah. are you gonna do like a deep pour, like epoxy thing on it, or what? Yeah, I'm thinking I might. Or I'm gonna pick up a what do you call them? A smelter. Like, mm-hmm. What? Yeah, they're melt, melt down some melt down some. There's a digital smelter for like. 300 bucks, 250 bucks. Mm-hmm. And you can throw like pop cans in there and pennies and different metal and melt it down. Yeah. And then it's got a little crucible, you know, it's maybe like a pint, like a pint or something or a quart. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, it looked pretty interesting, you know. Yeah, it heats up with like electricity and melts that shit. Yeah. And you can, you can set the temperature, you know, digital. So it's pretty cool oh yeah you just gotta be careful of course you know not to burn yourself with 2000 degree fucking molten metal well come on man <laughs> who's gonna who's not gonna want to burn the piss out of themselves 2000 <laughs> degrees it melts right down to your fucking bone and shit oh my god Incinerating all fucking tissue in its way. Oh, Christ! Yeah, 2000 is pretty fucking hot. Yeah, that's about the what it takes to melt aluminum. I think it's like 1800 degrees or something. You're never gonna feel more alive than you would fucking taking an 1800 degree burn. Whew. No, that would fucking. Yeah, like a whole nother level, like, of experience on burning. It didn't even feel, it didn't even feel like it burned. It fucked it up so fast. It just burns a hole right through your fucking mm-hmm. hand. Yeah. I didn't even feel it. No, because it cauterized itself on the way through. <laughs> <laughs> you were signed, sealed, and delivered. <laughs> anyway. So, hey. Let's see the Scamway man in action. 